We interrupt this program to bring you this special announcement. Our reporter, Bobby Walters, is standing on Capitol Hill right now talking with some candidates for the upcoming presidential election. We now bring you to Capitol Hill. Bobby? Thank you, Mr. Lather. I'm here on Capitol Hill witnessing a rare gathering of the candidates for the upcoming presidential election. I'm talking with President Jimmy Carter. Uh, Mr. Carter, we haven't seen much of you lately. Are you finally ready to start campaigning for this election? Yes, I'm ready. Mr. Carter, America has been trying to figure you out for the last three years. How would you describe your personality? Daydream, believer, and a homecoming queen. Good luck in this year's election. You have anything to say to all those who voted for you last time? Do that to me one more time. Once is never enough. Thanks, Jimmy. Ah, here's another presidential hopeful, Senator Ted Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy, despite your efforts, lately you've been sinking in the popularity polls. How do you account for that? Time in New England took me away. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Can you explain what you mean? Long rocky beaches, you by the bay. Oh, so that's how you got into such hot water. Mr. Kennedy, let's go back to last fall when Mr. Carter said that if you run, he'd whip your ass. Why would Mr. Carter say that? Well, I hope you can come back up in time for the election, Mr. Kennedy. Wait, what's Billy Carter doing here on Capitol Hill? Could he be in the race too? Excuse me, Billy, is it true that you are interested in becoming the next president of the United States? Might be the answer to this hillbilly beard. Good luck, Billy. Oh, while you're here, maybe you can answer something I was wondering about. Why do you think that your brother is so popular with the American people? It just may be a lunatic you're looking for. Right, Billy. Who's that over there surrounded by all those photographers? Why, it's Ronald Reagan. Mr. Reagan, why would a former Hollywood star want to be president? I can't tell you why. There's been a lot of talk lately about your age, Mr. Reagan. How long have you been around? Longer than there have been fishes in the ocean. Well, thanks, Mr. Reagan. Look, it's ex-candidate Jerry Brown. I didn't expect to see you here. Jerry, I heard that your political standing had a lot to do with your lack of public support. How would you describe your political standing? Yes, I like being a colada. Thank you, Jerry. And getting caught in the rain. Thank you, Governor. I'm not much into health food. I am into Enough, champagne. Brown. One more question, Governor. When you told your girlfriend that you were dropping out of the race, what did she say to you? Would you say that again, Governor? It looks like we're running out of time. I would like to ask one last question to all the presidential candidates. Gentlemen, you've all had a lot of exposure by the media. If you had one thing to say to the media, television, newspapers, radio, and magazines, what would it be? Thank you, candidates. This is Bobby Walters concluding an exclusive interview with some presidential candidates. Now back to Walter Rather. No Dan Cronkite. No Rather Concrete. Oh, forget it.